Uh, good morning. Uh, good to be here today. So, um, our, our readings today came from our, go our gospel reading came according to St. Mark's chapter 10, verses 32 to 45. Jesus and his mission, and they were on the road going to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them, and they were amused. And those who follow were abrupt, and taking the trial again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the sheep priests and his crops, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him over to the Galileans, to the Gentiles. And they, will, and they will mock him and his spirit on him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise. And Jesus and John, Jesus and John, the son of Zebedee, came up to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask for you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sigh one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. And Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or to be baptized? with the baptism which, with which I am baptized. And they say to him, we are enabled. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism which, with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sigh at my Rash and or at my lip is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. And when the ten hear it, they begin to be indignant at Jesus, at Jesus and John. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of Gentiles, Lord, it over them, and their grand ones exercise authority over them, but it shall not be so among you, but whoever would be grand among you must be servants, and whoever would be first among you must be a slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Uh, it, yes, it is Jesus central understood his mission. He was sent by the Father to be, to be the fulfillment of God his plan, namely, that a necessary substitution of man's death must take place in order for the new birth of life to occur. In Mark's terms, Jesus described what he was about in the term reminiscence of Isaiah. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. In John 10, he taught, I am come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly, 
I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep. No man take it from me, but I lay it down on myself. In John 12, the apostle broke out Jesus' explanation in the parables. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it will remain alone. But it is but if it died, it bear much fruit. This was the fulfillment of God is promising judgment and salvation. As he explained on the road to Emmaus, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? The good news, the gospel news of Christ is mission as long been foretold by the prophet. In chapter 24, verse 20, in chapter 24, verse 26, 27, we read from Luke, and begin with Moses and all the prophets. He interpreted to them in all the scriptures the thing concerning himself. The mission, the grace of God, is not an imagination, though no possibility. It is a divinely revealed facts, moved by his love and compassion for his people. God resolved to serve us by the death of his son. Yes, the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus is the holy soul of you and my salvation. May the peace of God we has passed all understanding and keep your heart and minds through faith. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.